What's going on guys and welcome back to the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Asia Park build. Last we left off we um, hatched up 10 more creatures as you can see here and I am planning to do the last of the creatures in this episode. We're going to finish the park and go from there so let's see what we have. So, Alright so let's use the list to check out what we what we've already gotten. All right, so Archaeornithomimus, check. Chunkingasaurus, check. Crichtonsaurus, check. Yep, there it is right there, check. Sungaripterus, check. Gallimimus we have. Gigant Spinosaurus, Homalocephale, Hoyangasaurus, Jehoopterus, Mementisaurus, Nothosaurus, Allura Titan, Ovaraptor, Parasaurolophus, Changesaurus, Sinoceratops, Sinosauropteryx, Syntausaurus, Velociraptor, and Euterenus. We have all of those. The ones we don't have are Lystrosaurus, Monolophosaurus, Mosasaurus, Plesiosaurus, Therizinosaurus, and Wuarosaurus. So yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the ones we don't have. So what we're going to do, first things first, is um, I'm going to take the hatchery out of the Euterenus enclosure, and I'm just going to add the Lystrosaurs in here. I really can't be bothered to make a petting zoo. Alright, this should be relatively quick. I just figured I'd add one more creature in, you know? Alright, Lystrosaurus is being added in. These guys are so cute. You know that. Alright. Lystrosaurus has been added in. We can move this away. And then let's make the Monolophosaurus enclosure. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, I don't really have, like, you know, um, the, uh, the fighting turned on. So I might put Plesiosaurus in here. And then we need a place for Wuarosaurus. Antherizinosaurus. Those will be the last two remaining herbivores. And Therizinosaurus does not like anything. It really doesn't like anything. It's very fussy and, you know. Alright, let's add Monolophosaurus in here. So we'll have that go here. And then we'll build a hatchery or enclosure around. Nothing too big, just big enough where the Monolophosaurus can roam freely. That's obstructed, so we're going to have to do that. And then, let's continue to do this. Boom. There we go. Alright, let's get Monolophosaurus cooked up. Alright, and let's get the forest going. We've got some forest, a patch of water. We also need a viewing gallery. There we go, so it looks more, you know, natural. Alright, we got that. So Monolophosaurus is being cooked up, and while we wait, let's release the Plesiosaurus. I figured why not just put them in with the Nothosaurus. Alright, we got the Plesiosaurus, that's that done, and we've got the Monolophosaurus. That's that done. And now, let's get the uh, feeders so they don't go hungry. There we go. That's Plesiosaurus, Lystrosaurus, and Monolophosaurus done. So we've got three more to go. Let's get that out of here. And then we'll have this expand over here. And then I'm thinking we throw maybe Wuarosaurus in here. Yeah, let's throw Wuarosaurus in here. Right next to these guys. Alright. Wuarosaurus should be all the way at the bottom. There we go. That should be relatively quick. And before we do anything else, let's put in a viewing gallery. That's one, and that's two. There we go. That's that done. Let's hatch these guys up. And while we wait, let's build the Mosasaur enclosure. We're going to have the one Mosasaur be in here. There we go. 
And let's move you over to here. There we go. And then we'll have this connect over there. And now, let's release the Wuaro Swords. That's that done. Alright, that's the Wuaro Swords done. And now, let's get the Mosasaur going. So first things first, we'll need to get a viewing stand for these guys, or for this guy, along with a shark feeder or two. And we also need some viewing domes. We'll have one in the middle, one on the left, and one on the right. There we go, we'll have three of them there. And then let's get Mosasaurus. There we go, that's Mosasaurus being cooked up. And while we wait, let's work on Therizinosaurus' enclosure. So the Therizinosaurus will have like a concrete fence. There we go. Let's begin the hatching of the Mosasaur. And let's move this over to here. And then I think we'll put like a viewing log over here. Like inside of here. There we go. We'll have that there. And we'll also have a viewing gallery over here. There we go. And then we'll put in some forest. Maybe right in the back there. Alright, let's get Therizinosaurus hatched up. And that'll basically be the last dinosaur in the park. So, let's have that going. And our final aquatic, Mosasaurus. Let's go. That's the Mosasaurus done. We can now delete this. And now let's hatch up the Therizino, and that'll basically be the final dinosaur. Let me just do a head count, see what dinosaurs we're missing and whatever. We got the Nothosaurs and Plesiosaurs. We got the Monolophosaurs. We got them. We got them. I think that's pretty much all of them. We got the Euterrenus. Sinosauropteryx, Oviraptor, Changesaurus. Yeah, I would say this park is pretty much complete. Once the, um, once the Therizinosaurus is done hatching, then we can go from there. Alright, so let's hatch up the Therizinosaurus, our last dinosaur in the park. How awesome is that? So, we got Therizinosaurus, which means we can now get rid of this. And yeah, I will work on the amenities and emergency shelters and transport off camera. But until then, that's going to have to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Also, I'll be taking a break from the park building for a while and just give you guys park tours. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.